that we are designed to create and manifest and execute. And so as you are on your hero's journey, it takes courage to live that dream. And there's a process that all of us go through and that we will go through as we stay on our journey. So if, let's start over in that top left corner where it says innocence. So it's kind of like this cycle. And when we're younger, we're kind of born into this innocence of really not knowing what's out there in the world, what to expect. We're really not afraid of things other than, you know, the boogeyman in the closet and things like that. But when we grow up and we go out into the world, then we, we realize that based on our environment and how we were brought up, that we've been taught to fear some things. And so part of my journey, part of my hero's journey was is that I had these strong Pentecostal Christian teachings. And if anybody knows about the Pentecostal way, it's a five-day revival. <laughs> it's church, Sunday school, main session, evening program, and it's constant, all day being immersed. Now, I don't complain about that because that's where I got my roots from. I appreciate my grandmother for taking me to church because there was a lot of kids who don't even get the opportunity to learn. But I also felt that in my later years, as I was becoming a young woman, that it felt there were some parts of the teaching that I thought were a little dogmatic. Too strong, too rigid, too confining. And so in my journey of being an entrepreneur, I began to find my own spiritual way. I now realize I don't have to go to church every Sunday to be with God. I realize that I don't have to know every scripture in the book to be a Christian. I realize that I don't have to force my son to go to church if he doesn't want to. I have to teach him how to be with God and connect with God no matter where he is. So it's been a spiritual journey. So I separated from my family, and I went on this adventure. And along the way, I met some mentors. And there was a threshold that I had to cross over because what I knew and what I was taught all my right here, I was taking my own journey. But I wanted to learn something else. I had to cross this threshold to get to it, like a bridge almost. And through that, as you can see, as we go through the process, I had to accept or deny that what I just discovered was real or not. I had to have the courage to do that. Otherwise, if I was stayed in fear, I'd still be up there in that corner. And along the way, yes, I had to face some demons, had some trials and tribulations, got some discipline and training, and accepted a new way. I found my allies, found other entrepreneurs and friends, found people who supported me on my journey. And that moment, crying, throwing a fit, <laughs> talking to my subconscious mind, that was fit right there. We all have, all have those battles with ourselves. But I survived. And I came out with a reward. I had breakthroughs and discoveries, new awarenesses, and some resolutions along the way. I got my reward. And again, now I'm going higher. So I got to cross the threshold again. And I can either accept or refuse the opportunity to cross over or I can stay here and stay stuck. So if you want to talk about comfort zone, it's right there. Anytime you got to cross this threshold, you either get out of your comfort zone or you stay in. Return to community, celebrate, accept responsibility. The student becomes a teacher. Now that's a quick version. So what I learned in my journey, I now can go on and talk about. If we use this, <coughs> In my moment in the shower, when I need that word to keep going, 
I almost gave up on my business because I didn't know how to brand myself. That would have been this moment in the shower. Had a breakdown. Survived it, went through, crossed over, celebrated. Boss lady of branding emerges. Student becomes a teacher. Now I'm teaching other people about that journey and that if you don't brand yourself and market yourself the right way, you're going to be invisible to the very people you want to serve. So with your piece of paper, let's work that. You don't even got to do that fancy drawing. Just draw a line in the center of the paper. That's your threshold. At the bottom, write reality. So paper split in half. At the bottom, there's your reality. At the top of the other half, that is your dream. You got to do something to get to that dream. You got to do something risky. Something that's going to have a huge reward if you do it. So up at the top, what's the big dream? Just write a few words to describe it. What's the big dream? What do you want to get to? Where do you want to go from where you are to where you want to go? It doesn't have to be anything extravagant. It could be to lose 50 pounds. It could be to stop eating junk food. It could be to buy a house. So don't overthink it. It can be real simple. What's the one thing you want to do right now that's related to your dream? Just pick one. Maybe you need to go get a loan, hire a coach, go back to school, whatever. Okay, so that's the dream. You have that at the top of the paper. And at the bottom is the reality, where you are. Pick three words that describe how you feel about your reality right now. Doesn't matter if they're positive or not. Three words about where you are right now, especially in comparison to when you look at what's up there at that dream. Frustrated, happy, excited, worried, afraid. What are you feeling? Now write three words at the top about how you will feel when you cross over and get to that thing, that dream, that whatever it is that you're desiring. How will you feel when you get the loan, when you buy the car, when you lose the weight, when you get the dream job, when you get 10 people on your sales team, whatever.
naysayers. Who else is waiting? Haters, whiners, complainers. My support system. Okay, you can put that there. Myself. Yep, yep. What about self doubt? You think it's waiting at the borderline? Yes. Anxiety? Yeah? Fear? And anything that you can think of that would stop you from crossing over. Trust me, it's there. And you can get to the border and it gets louder and louder and louder and louder and louder and louder and louder. It says don't do it. You're gonna lose all your money. Don't do it. Nobody's gonna read your book when you write it. Don't do it. You're gonna be broke. Don't do it. They're not going to hire those people. Don't do it. Louder and louder. Now, I may date myself by telling this little story, but anybody remember the story of the, what's it called, the, the Billy Goat Gruff or the three Billy Goats that was trying to go across the bridge? Okay. The troll who was under the bridge, waiting for him every time. What did they have to do eventually? Do we remember the story? They had to go in and take him down. Yes, they had to take away his power. Because every time one of them tried to cross, then he comes with his club. No, you will not cross. That's what's happening every time we decide to go after our dreams. So, to get over, what do you do? What do you think you do? <laughs> she said, take a bat and beat him down. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's where you got to do positive affirmations. That's where you got to get around people who say, yeah, you can do it. Go, 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 go. That's where you got to watch motivational movies. That's when you got to watch that movie that we watched earlier, Dream, Don't Give Up. You got to do all that stuff because you're on the edge of crossing over and getting that dream. And once you cross over and you do it, doesn't it feel good? Yeah. But you're gonna have to take that step several times to complete that dream. Mm -hmm. Every decision you make, every move you make, every risk you take is gonna require you to go on the hero's journey. And so when you're thinking about, you know you need to do something to make your life better, to improve your life, to get what you want, to live your dream, Think about this. Now I'm going to empower you to say, don't just think about it. Get out a sheet of paper. Draw it out. I want to apply for this job, but I'm scared. Draw it out. So on your piece of paper right now, put your, put your cheerleaders down. Who's one of your cheerleaders? They need to be at the top of the, the thing, saying, come on, come on, you can cross. Put them up there. Who's your number one supporter? Your number one fan. What's your favorite inspirational book? Write that down. What's your favorite scripture in the Bible? Your favorite quote? Whatever it is, put it up there. You've got to do it all right now. So when you get ready to cross over, to take steps and live your dream, and the troll is waiting on you the bridge, <laughs> you got to have some resources and tools to pull out. And by the way, Joseph Campbell is uh, awesome. I love, I love his work. Write his name down so you might find something inspirational.